with just a weekend and a few extra bucks, I'm gonna show you how to transform a spare bedroom into a high-end looking home office you will love to spend time in. If you love living an upscale lifestyle on a downsized budget, I am here for you at Skip to My Life. Today is part two and the final part in our home office series where I take you from a spare messy bedroom to a finished high-end home office and we're going to start by creating a closet workspace. Today I am finishing creating a high-end office space for my husband using a spare bedroom in our home. Well, the next step in this office is to clear out this closet. Now, the real estate in this room is really, really important. So I wanna make use of every square inch. And to do that, we're gonna create a workstation instead of a storage closet. It's gonna be a much more efficient use of this space. So the first step is to clear everything out. My husband and I recently downsized from a six bedroom McMansion to a tiny three bedroom rental that's about a thousand square feet. And part of that process is getting rid of things. And I thought we had pared down, but cleaning out this closet made me realize we had all kinds of things we would never be using. Remember these wall plug-in phones? It wasn't that long ago we were using those guys. The biggest thing to go is the shelf storage unit that we had really used while we were storing things in this closet, but I'm gonna take it upstairs and put it in our attic and it's gonna serve a better purpose there. I wanted to use the very most of the vertical space in this closet and so I measured and found that one of these storage units will actually fit on top and use up almost all of the space of that tall closet. Of course, Bella and Franklin, our two long-haired dachshunds, are my lucky sidekicks, and they are giving shout-outs to all your fur babies as we go along. For the storage cubes to fill this unit, I headed to Walmart, where for less than $5, I found a beautiful gray wash wood look cube. If you're living in a smaller or rental space, you will find lots of uses for these. I have them all over my home. They just are so deep and they carry so much and make it look attractive at the same time. I had originally planned to make a little makeshift desk in this area using two file cabinets. I did look at resale and thrift stores, but I just couldn't find a file cabinet that was the perfect size to fit in this closet. So I did end up buying these from Walmart. They were exactly what I was looking for. However, I wasn't crazy about the black color. clinking in the background it's Bella she feels that she is entitled to a walk today and she is not gonna leave me alone until I do that so Bella and I took a trip to Lowe's to look for the perfect color spray paint now I knew I wanted something in the gray tone but I couldn't decide exactly what color so I spied this gray primer that gave me more volume for the buck and I decided hey I'm going to go ahead and cover that dark black with primer and it'll serve as a placeholder for now and then later when I decide on the perfect color I can always come back and just with one can of spray paint it will take care of the whole cabinet. The pulls that come with this file cabinet are a beautiful brushed silver finish and I decided to leave them that way but you could also paint them pretty easily to match whatever color you choose. The cabinet we had used before was way too big for the space and I was always knocking into this metal corner and I was so happy to put that thing out at the curb. Well, the old metal cabinet was gone and it created the perfect space for my husband's printer. So I used a stool that I had actually found out on the curb. It is missing one spoke, but no one's gonna care for this purpose and just set that printer right on top. Walmart carries some beautiful patterns of contact paper that are so easy to apply. And so I wanted to create a little faux metal, faux wood workspace to rest on top of those two metal file cabinets. I had these two pieces of wood in my stash and they ended up fitting perfectly, but I did need to glue them together with some crazy glue and some uh, glue gun. And then I just went back with painter's tape. I originally taped those all together, hoping that I could hold them in place. 
and so that that glue would dry, but I ended up leaving the painter's tape in place just to provide a little extra structure. This piece of wood will be laying flat, but I didn't want it to split into two again. So after I had covered it with the painter's tape, I went ahead and covered it with the contact paper, and it's the perfect size and stability for what we're using it for. If you're new to Skip to My Life, a great big virtual welcome to you. I am so glad we found each other. We love to do small space decor and organizing and all things fun and crafty here. So I hope you find some inspiration. For this project, I quickly lined up the pieces of contact paper, but if you really want to make these planks match exactly, you're probably going to have to take a little bit more time cutting and pasting to make it look like one long plank. My original idea was to make this a small desk with those two file cabinets on either end and a piece of wood across, but I decided instead that I wanted to store my husband's guitar in that closet space. So that kind of altered my plans and you'll see what I mean in just a minute. Now that we have a really nice functional workspace, we're going to create a shelf of supplies right over top. Now this was an old shelf that we had in our stash. We actually used it in our daughter's room. So I wanted to make it look a little bit more uh, cohesive with the room. And I just took some white and black chalk paint. I mixed those together and I dried brushed them with a large chip brush. If you've been following Skip to My Life for a while, you know that I love to use monkey hooks for hanging things like this. So monkey hooks are a cantilever type hook that actually goes back behind the drywall and holds things in place. Now I wouldn't use it for something that weighs a lot, but for a small shelf like this, it's perfect. You don't have to worry about sinking those screws. You can just put it anywhere you like in the wall. Next, I'll be using these two storage tubs from Walmart. They were two for $3, and I thought that was a great value. And I'm also using some of the little plastic cups from Walmart. These are 50 cents a piece in the dining section. And I am purchasing this during back to school time when all of these supplies are at their cheapest. So if you see things like that at Walmart and back to school, go ahead and stock up because those are the probably lowest prices you're gonna find. When I revealed the space to my husband, he saw those three hand sanitizer pumps and thought maybe I had made him his very own slushy bar. So I thought, hey, that's not a bad idea. I might have to look into that one. This is a perfect space for keeping papers that need to be filed. Or, you know, sometimes you have a project that you just would like to leave laying out, but you don't want to have to clear off your desk. So that was my intention in creating this. And yes, my husband is a big Marvin the Martian fan. Comment below and let me know if you love Marvin the Martian. This is a super easy Dollar Tree hack for paper storage. Just grab a couple of those magazine holders from Dollar Tree. They sell them this time at Back to School. And you can spray paint them or leave them the color, whatever you like. I did use that primer. And then voila, these two pieces actually click together. One is for cardstock and one is for printer paper. Comment below and let me know if your home office doubles as a guest room. Well, ours does. And as you can see, it started off pretty rough. After I replaced those curtains, it looked a little better, but I also needed to upgrade the bedding for our guests. And I found the perfect set at Walmart in this microfiber sheet set. The two standard pillows fit perfectly to the side of the storage unit in that cupboard. And you can see the bed as it's made up for guests. It looks so nice. It's so much more comfortable than the makeshift sheets and bedding that we used to have. They also find the perfect fold up side table and table lamp at Walmart. And I will be listing the links to those below as well. Now I really like our black finish to our futon but if you have a futon that's a little bit worse for wear get one of these full sheet sets and cover it and you will give it a brand new life Well, our last project in this high-end home office redo was to clear my husband's desk of clutter and create a space for him to keep things that he really did not use on a regular basis. 
I found this beautiful little welcome sign on the curb at Trash Day as I do many of the projects that I work with and I decided it was the perfect size to make a shelf for him. Now please don't hate on me because I know it's a beautiful little sign but personally I am kind of over the words in home decor comment below and let me know if you are over the words we had a, a minute where everything was words everything was sayings and i am kind of ready to get rid of that and move on to a fresh new look so with three brackets purchased from Lowe's and the shelf sign that I painted all the same color, we've created a really inexpensive and highly functional, high-end looking shelf. This becomes a great place to store books that my husband doesn't reference all the time and all kinds of mementos and reminders of friends and family. If you haven't already, you're going to want to make sure you watch part one of this series so you can see how I created some of the other spaces in this room. But it is finally finished. My hats are off to my husband for his patience and letting me invade his man cave. But he is so happy with the result and so am I. Make sure to comment below and let me know which of these ideas you think you might try in your home office space. I love to hear from you. I do read and respond to every single comment, so please keep them coming. Oh, and by the way, when I was filming, I noticed one of those little candy containers was completely missing candy, so somebody has been in to his stash. For so long, my husband has been so generous in helping me set up my crafting and decorating space in our other spare bedroom. And so I was so happy to be able to turn it around and create this workable and fun space for him. love today's episode you have to watch part one of this home office transformation and until we see each other next time please don't forget today's not the end of your story my friend so don't you give up